recognize a member of the resource, long-standing member of the resources committee, uh, Representative uh, Peter DeFazio from Oregon, for a minute and one half. Gentleman from Oregon. And I'll, and I'll yield the gentleman my remaining time as well. Gentleman has two and a half minutes. I was uh, sitting in my office watching this debate and had participated earlier, was going to participate in the debate later, wasn't going to participate until I was insulted and the memories of young people from my district were insulted by the gentleman from Minnesota to try and purport that the National Forest Management Act had anything to do with the death of those kids is outrageous. Tell you what, where's the money for the firefighting? You guys haven't adequately funded it. Where's the money for the fuels reduction? It's not in the budget. And you pass a so-called healthy forest bill that doesn't have one penny, not one red cent in it for fuels reduction. You want to pretend this stuff can be done on the cheap so you can give money and tax cuts to the wealthy people who those kids died protecting their property. Tell you what, it doesn't have to do with the National Forest Management Act, and you know it. Now put up the money to fight the fires. Put up the money to do the fuels reduction. And stop screwing around with the public process. That's what you're doing here. The target here is not to get rid of the brush. The target here is not to do the millions. We have a six billion board foot backlog of commercial thinning Northwest that the Forest Service doesn't have the money to fund. Six billion board feet. That could put one heck of a lot of people to work for one heck of a long time. But you won't fund it. Because what's the real target here? The target here is the little bit of the remaining old growth. That's why you want to change the rules. Not to go in and get the brush. Not to do the fuels reduction. Not to deal with the six billion board foot backlog of thinning but to go in to these forests and cut the last remaining valuable old growth trees, the only trees that happen to be fire resistant, the only trees that should be left behind when you go through and remove the rest of the junk from 100 years of forest mismanagement. And yes, Democrat and Republican administrations alike are responsible for forest mismanagement. But to perpetuate it now and to perpetuate it under a myth that somehow it won't cost a penny to undo a hundred years of mismanagement, that somehow you're going to go in and do the thinning, somehow you're going to go in and do the brush removal and the fuels reduction, and it won't cost a cent. Now the only way you can do that is to take out the most valuable trees at the same time, which means you don't leave what every credible fire ecologist and scientist says need to be left in fire prone forests and which would take us back to pre-settlement conditions and pre-mismanagement conditions, the old growth. Don't do this by disrespecting the young people from my district and other districts in the West who died fighting these fires.